Good, good morning. I'd like to welcome you to Piney Flats First Baptist Church. Certainly, if you're visiting with us today, you're certainly welcome. Love to have you with us, and and uh, hope you take in the service. If you need more information, just check. Uh, we have something you could fill out there at the Welcome Center. Um, I wanted to share with you this morning. Scott couldn't be here due to his work, but he wanted to make sure to make a couple of announcements. Um, can you please announce the VBS um, insert into Bolton? No longer, he no longer needs the the uh, the toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. We now need empty 12 ounce water bottles. Also, t-shirts in reference to VBS need to be in by April 21st. You can do all the above at the Welcome Center. Okay, so also today they're continuing. Uh, uh, we have some good leaders with our Bible school this year and they're gonna be working today from one to five, is that right? One to five? Okay, one to five o'clock in the CLC. So uh, they've really taken a uh, hold of that and, and are really organized and they're doing a great job. But boy, if you'd like to help them on that. Uh, and also the packets, what are the name of those packets? Yeah, you can do some of your own crafting with that for VBS. Those are available at the Welcome Center as well. Also, as many of you know, in reference to Hannah Bringman and and, uh, and the loss of Zach, there'll be a special love offering taken that's taken today. Love offering envelopes are available for you out front in the foyer, okay? So that's all that I have at this time. Our verse of the day, oddly enough, is one of our favorites. We're referencing that up in, this, in their uh, service today. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you so much for being here on a beautiful Sunday morning. Let's have a word of prayer and then we'll get started with our choir, please. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the sunshine of this day, Father. And I just pray you anoint this service today. Help us to be at our very best as we slow things down for a moment to just worship you, to be of open hearts and minds that we uh, hear the certainly the singing, but most of all the preaching of your word. I pray for the message you've given our pastor. I pray, Father, for our country, our world. Certainly, Father, your hand be on Israel today and all that's going on in the world. Certainly, Father, we know you have a timing and a purpose for all that goes on. Father, I pray again, too, for all the churches that are meeting across this world today. And, Father, again, thank you so much for continuing to allow us to worship freely in your house. We look forward to what you have in store for us today. And I do pray for your hand to be on all those things uh, uh, that are going on, certainly in our church, throughout this day, Father. And we just give you all the glory and praise. These things we ask and pray in your heavenly and precious name. Amen. Glory wrapped in light. 
Blessed are you who are downhearted, tired and weary, and in need of something more. Blessed are you who have had a tough year or season, perhaps filled with ups and downs, sorrow and sadness, misery and mistakes. You are not alone. Blessed are you whose dreams have been interrupted, stomped on, or perhaps just taking too long. There is a new thing right around the corner. Blessed are you who don't know what to believe or why you are here today. But despite that, you keep pushing forward. Blessed are you who are walking through seasons of prosperity and joy, celebration and hope. For you have found something truly worthy of sharing. You see, sometimes life is just hard, but blessed are those who seek the Lord in the midst of that darkness. For there is hope, real, tangible hope found in Him. So today, may you be reminded that you were created on purpose and for a purpose. May you know that God has big plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. May you walk in truth and light so that no matter where you go, you will have